Hey what's up guys KF here from Noise. Today I'm gonna show you how to install the Mac OS that is the OS X on your Windows PC. Today I'm gonna show you the full way of installing the Mac OS on your Windows PC. This is a 100% working process guys and do follow the video properly because if you don't follow it properly you will surely have problems. This video is not only about installing the Mac OS but I'll also show you the initial setup which you actually need for the Mac OS to work to work properly on your PC. And guys the link to all the required files which are used in this video will be there in the description below. With that being said let's get started. The very first thing you do is install the VMware player. This is the setup guys, you will find the, all the files in the link in the description below. So install the VMware player first, agree all the terms and conditions and install it properly. This is the actual player on which the Mac OS will run. So this is actually your environment for the Mac OS to run on your Windows PC. So here we are done with the installation of the VMware player. Now go on your start and open the VMware Workstation 12 player. Now we are open here. Now, Keeping this aside for some time, you have to extract the Mac OS file, the 6.5 GB file which is there in which you have, you have to download. Now you have to extract this file. So for extracting, first you have to select where you want to extract this file, where you want to keep your Mac OS. I'll keep my Mac OS in my G drive and with the name OS X, you can name the file anything you want. So extract it and select the location that is the OS X folder and then OK. Now guys here we are done with the extracting process. Now close the Mac OS file and go into your my go into your personal PC. Then in there you in your Mac OS folder, there you'll find an unlocker folder. That is in there unlocker 204. And then you have to install the win install file. This is the actual win install file of the Mac OS. So now we install this file. And we are done with the installation of this file. Now, minimize this and on your virtual machine, VMware, open a new file and then select the Mac OS. Now you can edit your virtual machine settings. You can change the RAM settings, your CPU core performance. Keep your RAM a bit low than your actual RAM. Suppose you have 8 GB of RAM, keep it 4. And now, when you see this error, this is an error which most of the users will face. So I have covered this error in this video also. This is an error, this is an Intel virtualization error, hit OK, close everything and then shut down your PC or restart your PC. Now when you restart your PC, you have to go into the BIOS of your PC. So hitting F2 on your PC, you will go into the BIOS. In your BIOS, you have the advanced mode. In the advanced mode, again you go in the advanced option where you have CPU configurations. So I have your CPU configurations, I go on CPU configurations and then in here I have an option below. I, ha I have an option with the name Intel Virtualization Technology. So this is disabled, I have to enable it. Now after enabling it, exit, save and exit and reset your restart your PC. So after your PC is restarted, you have to open the VMware Workstation Player. In there, open a virtual machine and select your Mac OS and open. Now make your make your changes, edit your virtual machine settings whenever you want or anything you want. And in there, in your processor, you have an off preferred mode. In there, select the last option and then select Virtualization Intel. Keep it on and then OK and then click on play virtual machine. You're not yet done guys, do not close the video. The setting up is still left.
Then you have, after it is it boots up, you have to select your country. My country is India. I select India. Then continue. Then you have to select your keyboard type and then transfer. Don't transfer anything right now. And then continue. And don't use the location services. Now en enter your Apple ID and password. Then continue. Now you get an option to allow find my map. Right now, uh, click on not now. This will take some time to start. Now you get the terms and conditions. So agree to the terms and conditions. Again, click on agree. Then you have to set the password for your Mac. So here you can see your account name which is which which will be your drive name also. And then you can use a I you can use a Apple ID password to unlock the Mac or you can set a different password also. I am setting a different password. And suppose if you forget your password of your Mac, you can uh, you can actually reset it using Apple ID also. Then continue. This will also take some time. Then you have the iCloud option. So right now, do not set up anything. Just set up the normal user. Then continue. And then select your nearest nearest city. The nearest city to me is Mumbai. So I'll type Mumbai. You can type anything the nearest city you have. This is for actually the setup of your time date and time then continue again continue this is doing the setup of your Mac on your on your VMware machine now we will boot up into the VMware machine on that is that is the Mac OS here you can see this is the Mac OS but here you can see that there are a bit lags in the movement of the mouse yes the mouse glitches a bit so you can see there's a new app new software a new app on the desktop that is the vmware tools click on it and you have to install it that is really important you have to install it then continue Then you have to install, ok, click on install. Then enter your, enter your password for your Mac. Now continue the installation. Now this will restart your VMware machine. So click on restart. This will not actually restart your Windows PC. This will only restart the Mac OS and the VMware machine. So when you are into restart. Now enter your password. And your Windows machine and your actually Mac OS has started. Now you can act, now you can rename the file which is present on the desktop by any name you want. Suppose you want I keep it as OSX, you can keep it as anything you want. Then after that you have to you can see this Apple logo, you have to click on it and shut down your machine. This will shut down the Mac OS and the VMware. Now go in your file explorer of your Windows machine. You have to go in your G drive or in the drive where you have the OSX folder. Now click on the OSX folder and enable the file extensions. So here I enable the file name extension and here you have to search for the VM .vmx file. So this is my 4kb file which is the .vmx file and you have to open it with notepad. Okay. Now you have to search for the file that is 
board slash id dot reflect host is equal to true so after that line you have to hit enter and that true you have to actually replace it with false so it will become board board dash id dot reflect host space is equal to space false now you have now you need a text file this is a text file which is there in the description in the de description of the video you can download it from there and copy all the code from this text file and you can close this or minimize this now going back to your previous code you have to paste that after the board slash id reflect host line and then save it now guys go into your control panel now in your control panel you have to go in the file explorer option in your file explorer option go in view and then select the show hidden files option and then apply now after that you have to close that then after closing the control panel you have to go into your disk into your pc that is your file explorer and then you have to go into the c drive where you will go into the user my name is k farshani my user is k farshani and then you see an app data folder this was hidden but when we enable the show hidden option this is there now in there you go in the vmware and this is a preferences.ini file so you have to open this file so edit hit edit now search for a line that is ref.vm player full screen dot full screen dot nobar is equal to true if you find this file then you have to replace the true with one and if you don't find the line then you can directly type reference dot vm player dot full screen dot nobar space is equal to space one So this is an important file, this is an important line otherwise you will not get the full screen mode properly on your Mac OS. Now save this line. Then close. Again close this, refresh and then restart the VMware workstation. Now go on your Mac OS and play the virtual machine. Now this will boot up your Mac OS. Now when you are into the Mac OS, when you hit the full screen option, now you can see that this is proper full screen with no problem. You can now actually log in to your contacts also, iMessages also. So you can enter your Apple ID and password and it will be working just fine, just like the original Mac OS. So you will not have any problems at all. So guys, this was the video in which we showed you how you can install the Mac OS on your Windows PC through the VMware player. Do follow the videos properly guys and then it will be of no problem to you. And if you, are, if you guys have any problem you can comment to us and we'll help you out. Do like the video guys because that really helps and do subscribe to the channel because that would mean the world to us. With that being said this is Kevyo from Norris and I'll see you in the next one.